U.S. complicity in Israel's genocide against Palestinians the grim reality as the world reels from the horrors unfolding in Gaza perpetrated under the guise of Israeli self-defense, it's crucial to expose the stark reality of U.S. involvement in enabling this genocide. Not only does the U.S. provide unwavering military support and billions in aid to Israel, but it also shamelessly flouts its own laws and forsakes core values of human rights, justice and equality, thereby sanctioning genocide. The Arms Export Control Act, AECA, of 1976 was instituted to regulate the export of U.S. defense equipment, ensuring its use for legitimate defense purposes and not to facilitate aggression or human rights violations. However, by furnishing Israel with weapons used to wreak havoc in Gaza, the U.S. not only breaches this law, but also abandons its commitment to upholding human dignity and preventing atrocities. Moreover, the U.S.'s unequivocal backing of Israel's Gaza campaign contradicts foundational American principles of human rights and equality. The indiscriminate slaughter of innocent Palestinians, including countless women and children, stands in stark contrast to the values upon which this nation was built. By condoning Israel's crimes, the U.S. undermines its moral standing and forfeits its credibility as a champion of justice on the global stage. Furthermore, by aiding and abetting Israel's genocide, the U.S. not only acts immorally, but also undermines its own strategic interests. History demonstrates that oppression and injustice breed resentment and extremism, fueling further violence and instability. By complicitly supporting Israel's aggression, the U.S. perpetuates a cycle of bloodshed and endangers regional stability, ultimately jeopardizing its own security. It's imperative for the United States to reassess its unwavering support for Israel and hold it accountable for its egregious violations of international law. This necessitates an immediate halt to all military aid and arms sales to Israel, as well as active participation in efforts to bring perpetrators of genocide to justice. Failure to take decisive action would not only betray American values, but also signify complicity in the heinous crime of genocide. The time for moral clarity and decisive action is now.